Although China has become increasingly involved in global infrastructure projects over the past few decades, not all countries have been open to cooperation with China. Especially with the support of the United States, relations between the Philippines and China have become significantly tense in recent years, which has affected cooperation between the two sides on certain projects. On October 28, 2023, the Chinese government made an unexpected decision canceled the $5 billion U.S. dollar railway loan originally promised to the Philippines. This decision is quite detrimental to three key railway projects in the Philippines. Faced with this situation, the Philippines had to urgently seek assistance from other countries. Subsequently, countries such as Japan, South Korea and India expressed their willingness to provide $5 billion U.S. dollars in support and actively participate in the Philippines' railway construction projects. In this video, we dive into the following key questions. Why did China cancel aid to the Philippine railways? Can Japan, South Korea and India help the Philippines successfully complete these three railway projects? The Philippine railway system has long been underdeveloped due to lack of adequate development. In order to change this situation, the Philippine government took active measures in 2018 to raise funds to build three key railway projects. These projects include the Subic Clark Railway Project, the Philippine National Railway's South Long Distance Project, and the Davodigo section of the Mindanao Railway Project with a total investment of $5 billion U.S. dollars. After a series of international bids, China finally won the investment and construction rights for these three projects. According to the cooperation agreement, China promises to provide the Philippines with all the loans it needs and plans to complete the construction of these three sections of railway by 2027. This is a huge boost to the infrastructure development in the Philippines. However, China recently unexpectedly announced the cancellation of $5 billion U.S. dollars in loans for these three railway projects. So why is China doing this? In fact, these three railway projects were originally initiated by the administration of former Philippine President Duterte. During his tenure, Sino-Philippine relations have experienced a period of improvement. President Duterte believes that China is the Philippines' most reliable partner. He has said that if China helps build the Southern Philippines Railway, the Philippines will maintain a neutral position in the South China Sea dispute. However, with the coming to power of Ferdinand Marcos, the Philippines began to lean toward the United States on the South China Sea issue, which led to the gradual deterioration of Sino-Philippine relations and affected cooperation between the two sides on multiple projects. In addition to the influence of the United States, the dispute between China and the Philippines over the details of railway project loans also deserves attention. In 2018, under the leadership of Duterte, the Philippines and China reached a preliminary cooperation agreement on railway projects, and the Philippines accepted China's 2.5% interest rate conditions. At first glance, this decision appears to benefit both parties. However, with the coming to power of the Marcos government, the Philippines' attitude towards foreign debt changed. The Marcos administration canceled its loan application to China, citing China's slow response to the Philippines' funding needs. When the three railway projects came back to the negotiating table over loan issues, the Philippines proposed tougher conditions, including requiring China to shoulder all construction funds and lower interest rates to below 2.5%. These demands were beyond China's acceptable range and led to a deadlock in the negotiations. As a result, China announced its withdrawal from cooperation on these three railway projects and canceled the originally promised $5 billion US dollar loan. The outside world originally thought that this would be a major setback for the Philippine railway construction, but Japan, South Korea and India have expressed their willingness to provide railway construction loans to the Philippines bringing new hope to the project. This raises the question, can Japan, 
South Korea and India replaced China and helped the Philippines complete its railway project? In fact, before launching negotiations with China, the Philippines was already planning alternative financing options with other Asian countries. As friendly countries to the Philippines, South Korea and Japan have long provided support in cooperation and investment assistance. Japan has even proposed low-interest loans of up to 0.18% to take over railway projects originally undertaken by China. Faced with these favorable conditions, the Philippines put forward lower interest rate requirements in negotiations with China, hoping to obtain more favorable cooperation terms. However, after losing the support of Chinese loans, the Philippines turned to other countries such as Japan, South Korea, and India for financial support. But cooperation with Japan also carries risks. Infrastructure projects contracted by Japan have encountered problems especially in India's Mumbai Metabod high-speed rail project. This high-speed railway is about 500 kilometers in length. It was originally planned to start construction in 2017, and Japan promised to invest 1.1 trillion yen in loan funds. But in the past six years, Japan has completed only 10 kilometers of the line, which may force India to shelve the project for a long time. The Ho Chi Minh City Hanoi high-speed rail project jointly developed by Vietnam and Japan is also facing stagnation. These cases show that cooperation with Japan is no guarantee of success and that the Philippines could be the next to be affected by a Japanese default. But if the Philippines refuses to cooperate with Japan, it will only choose South Korea and India. But what is even more worrying is that these two countries lag behind China and Japan in high-speed rail technology, and cooperation with them is even less likely to bring better results. However, given the sharp decline in trust in China, the Philippines can currently only reduce its investment in railway construction, which also means that the railway project will be shelved for a longer time. However, the railway construction capabilities of Japan South Korea and India still need to be examined for a period of time. After all, if the project fails or the construction does not meet expectations, the related costs and consequences will be borne by the Philippines itself.